Hey guys, welcome, welcome to the next part of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armor, room, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, we'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, even though this is an improved port of an older game, the lip syncing is terrible. They never fixed it from the old game, and I don't know why. But anyway, this level is great for trigger happy people, because as you can see, there's often a lot of shooting going on at once. Oh boy. This spot in particular, right here, 31, <laughs> it wouldn't even let me get those other two, I think 31 is the max for one lock on, but hey, it's a shooting level, shooting level is going to do that, not shooting, and new item, what, editing tool to cut out a less than perfect take, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> anyway, that item you just saw me get, it's a power-up to the Vulcan Cannon. I don't know if they were intentionally ripping off Star Trek when they chose that name, but moving on. This power-up to the Vulcan Cannon allows us to destroy steel boxes. Which is helpful because, you know, right here steel boxes are blocking our way. Ah, using the item as soon as you get it, cliche. What is this, Legend of Zelda? <laughs> now the planes, not those planes that were just off to our left a second ago, but the other more gray Air Force style plates, I don't know quite how to describe them, not the normal GUN style plates that are flying by real fast sometimes. Those guys are pretty hard to hit. It is possible to hit them. I've done it before. Mostly when you fire at them, you do it too late and the missiles chase after them while they're flying away, but they never actually hit them and they disappear before they hit their target, so. Another interesting thing about this level, the cameras that are spread out across this level are almost identical to the ones in Iron Gate. But the thing that's different about them is, unlike Iron Gate, they actually count for lock-on bonuses, which is really weird. I don't understand why they were non-eligible for lock-on bonuses in the first level, but here they're counted for it. It's really weird how they changed it. And there are so many enemies in this level, so many shutdown robots just standing in place, or I should say crouching. So many lock-ons, we're probably going to walk away with a lot of bonuses. And this is one of the few times in the game where you'll get perfect lock-on bonuses, worth 2,000 points. I mean, I should say one of the few times in the beginning of the game. I think it's at around 13 lock-ons that that starts happening. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if it's better to do 13 lock-ons, get the perfect bonus, and then do another set of 13, than to do all 26 at once. It feels like it's better to do two separately, because if you do them all at once, you only get the bonus for the lock-ons once, whereas if you do it 13, let go of the trigger, and then do another 13, you get the bonus twice, so... I don't know, just something to think about when you're doing this. It is no fun to lock on the 31 things at once. It's, I think the rush from that is worth it. Well worth the drop in points of 2000. Either way, let's hit this checkpoint with a lot of rings and get a shield. Bam! Protection. And bomb guy right there. Let's not lose our shields, shall we? I don't trust these three guys. They're a bunch of goons over here. <laughs> nope. Too bad. Missed. Suckers. Yeah, those bomb guys, like the one that was back there. You want to target all their bombs and the center before you fire at them. Because if you just hit the center, you'll lose the lock odds you could have got for hitting their bombs. And, you know, you've got to do it fast though. Because if he hits you, you lose all your lock odds. You have one of those awkward moments. Now, before you get on this grappling hook, here's a lesson to you. Before you get on the grappling hook, destroy those guys up there. They'll just shoot you off. Or at least most of them. And the whole purpose of this grappling hook is to go over here and get a bunch of lock odds that would have been difficult to get from the ground level. Let's see if we get one of these losers. Ah, I shot one off behind me, I don't think I got him. And that's the guy right there that almost always ships out of nowhere and gets me. I remember this time. 
I feel like I mentioned him and talked about him. Was it Sand Ocean? Or was that another commentary I had to redo so it doesn't exist anymore? Who knows? And this is the end of the level, as I lose my shield, but not my ranks. The shield connected me. Ah. <laughs> I seem to be having some awkward problems trying to get up. And there we go. Now, this is not the end of the video. And I'm not just talking about a cutscene. After the cutscene, we have something special. And man, we're... Under the Lost Colony for points. I thought it'd be more than that. Now you know, why you know what? I'm thinking of something best. else. Don't worry. It'll come up. You'll see. You'll all see. Here we go. Cutscene. Awkward freezing cutscene. What's with that? Okay, everyone ready? Shadow Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Yeah, you guessed right, folks. It's the first boss fight between main characters, Eggman and Tails. Eggman, you won't get away with this. We're going to be fighting each other, giant mechs. Don't worry, it's not gonna take very long. Ah, oh, I just got propeller punch. Oof, yeah. Don't stand right in front of him like I'm doing. I'm just kind of not being careful because I know he's gonna die eventually. Yeah. This fight is not a danger to you whatsoever. It ends really fast, like that. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!